Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Mobile games are getting better and better so freaking quickly. Just a few years ago, we took a look at games like Rules of Survival and said they were the best looking mobile games out there at the time. They had the next generation graphics and they almost looked as good as PC games. Well, our standards have changed because nowadays, even games that you might have never even heard of before look as good as PC games, or at least very close. And one of them is the one that you're seeing right here. This is a mobile game. It's called War After. I've made a couple of videos on this game before, and every single time I play this game, I'm continually impressed at just how good this game looks. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect by any means. There's a lot of problems with this game, and we'll talk about some of those problems a bit later on in this video. But in terms of graphics, I mean, seriously, there are very few other mobile games out there that look as good as this. Yeah, I love this game. It's really freaking cool. And as I said, yes, I I'm not oblivious to the problems this game has. I just really, I, I just find it so cool when a game looks so much better than like the vast majority of other games that are in its whole like genre, you know? Because at least, at least it's doing something different than everybody else. Maybe that doesn't make too much sense, but at least I tried to explain the reasonings behind all of this. The gun that I'm using though is not very good. I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. All right, let's go heal up real quick. Okay, I told you. I told you. Yeah, so, all right. One of the first things that uh, War After does, maybe not the best, is still the uh, the firing rates and, like, time to kill for some of the weapons. I think it's better than it was before. But I don't know. Still feels a little bit off. Um, maybe it's just because of the overall game mechanics themselves. Like, you know, the graphics might be fantastic, but the overall game mechanics might be a little bit... Oh, my God. Was that, was that special effects? Wait a minute, if I get shot, shoot me, shoot me. Is that, is that, is that actually like real blood effects on the wall? If that, if that is, that's pretty freaking cool. Not gonna lie. All right, heal up real quick. Thank you very much. And this is probably the worst looking map out of all the maps in this game. I'm very annoyed that the game actually decides to put me into this one. Laboratory. Are you freaking kidding me? But it doesn't matter. We're already, like, pretty close to finish. Goal is 30. And don't die! Don't die! No! What's wrong with you? I think I... Did I even die yet? I don't know. No, I think I died once before. But yeah. Um, I'll show you guys, like, the main menu. Some of the other special features that this game has a bit later on. This guy is the best fighter I've ever seen in my entire life. Cowarding in the corner! Like this. Maybe he's trying to, like, glitch out of the map. Because yes, actually, believe it or not, there are some glitches in this game, um, at least from what I've experienced. I've seen some people, like, glitch through the floor, stuff like that. Kind of weird bugs and stuff like that. And that's that's just because probably this game is made by a very small dev team. And I, I think glitches are just more common in these smaller... I guess you could sort of say it's almost like an indie game, but maybe not. Um, obviously, a game like Warzone Mobile is going to have way less bugs and problems than something like this. But hey, it doesn't freaking matter. We won. Squad Alpha wins. I'm the MVP. And how many kills? Nine kills. Not bad. Out of 30 total people, I got nine kills. And I think that's pretty freaking good. So we're going to proceed now. And I'm going to try to jump into a different map. But I do want to show you something real quick to start. Um, in case you've not seen War After before. Which is... Oh, look at that. There's skins in this game. I don't... I don't remember seeing this whole, like, special offer type of thing at the end of matches. I think that might be new. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Kind of getting me pixel gun vibes where it like throws you a bunch of offers and you have to keep clicking the X button to get away from it because why are you going to spend like, you know, I mean, to be fair, it's $5 versus like, you know, $50 for a skin in Call of Duty Mobile. But it's like, are you really going to spend $5 on a skin like that <laughs> in just a random game like this? Probably not. No, I wouldn't say so. But you have an arsenal in this game. You have all your different weapons here. Right now, I have the AK-74 Vampire. It's level 5, and I can upgrade this if I want to. You can also put different skins on the weapons, as you can see. Pretty cool. I mean, yeah, they're, they're static skins, I think, for the most part. But they don't look bad. You know, at least this game does have skin options. Then you can actually customize in the gunsmith itself. That one looks weird. That one looks like that's a little bit buggy. Ah, a couple of them are. Okay. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. Game is a little bit slow. You have your different character skins, which is kind of cool. And they don't look bad, actually. I mean, you know, a lot of these games, the characters look really, really bad. And, I mean, he looks, he looks pretty realistic. Um, ah, there's the reason why. 
<laughs> I have to download. I have to download the other maps. I'm stupid. Okay. I actually want to jump into Suburbs so the game can feel free to download the other ones while we're waiting. Suburbs is a really, really good looking map in this game and uh, I'll, I'll show you guys when we jump into it. So yeah, I mean, mainly the main things that people are always talking about when they're criticizing War After is it's it feels slow. Um, everything from the movement speed, and it's kind of weird that sliding in the game is actually faster than running itself. It seems like it, right? Um, movement speed, and then some people say it's pay to win. And that was back when I made my last video on the game, which was months ago at this point in time. What the heck is that guy doing? He's going sideways. <laughs> what the heck was that? Um, and yeah, th yeah, as I said, that was basically back in about four or five months ago. And maybe that's changed. Um, to anybody that's watching this video that's played this game regularly over the past couple of months, has this game gotten better? Please let me know down below in the comments because you guys obviously know it a lot better than me. But look at Suburbs, man. Look at these, look at these, these graphics. I mean, seriously, like... Look at the house. This is like something that you'd see in like a, like a architecture type simulator game, you know, something like that. So look at the vehicle. Even though the vehicle might be a little bit low quality, the overall design of it itself is pretty cool. There's just a lot of things that this game is doing right in terms of just how it looks. And, and as I said before in my last video on this game, if this game continues to, where are you guys? Hi. If this game continues to develop its overall, like, game mechanics more and more, then, I mean, seriously, who wouldn't want to play a game like this? If this game had as good of game mechanics as, like, Call of Duty Mobile, for instance, everybody would want to play this game. I think everybody watching this video would be like, this is, this is a must-have. Right now, right now, probably no. Probably no. Like, you could get away not playing this game and not be really missing out on too much. It's just if you want to play a game that looks really good. But, like, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. But I'm going to die. Goodbye, my friends. When I meant to say, when I said goodbye, I meant to say goodbye to the enemy team, obviously. I didn't mean to say goodbye because I was going to die. I never die. Exotic gaming never dies. Never dies in a video game. In fact, I have never died in the history of ever playing video games on my YouTube channel. Yes, nine years of making videos. I've never died once. That is no sarcasm whatsoever. And as a matter of fact, they are cutting the lawn outside of my house right now. So I apologize if you are uh, hearing weird rumbling noises in the background. They decided to do the lawn mowing right now. That's perfect timing. Perfect timing right when I'm recording this video. Much appreciated. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess right now since Warzone Mobile is unable to be played, I'm going to be making a lot of different videos on different random first person shooter games. I've played, like, a pretty good chunk of these games already. Dude, I'm dying so many times. This sucks. This one, this one's way harder than the other map. Come on, man. Um, yeah, as I said, I've played a good chunk of them already, and uh, I might just start playing games that I've already played before on my channel, like I did today, like I did a couple of days ago when I played Battle Prime. And if there's any games you'd like for me to play again on my channel, then let me know down below in the comments, and I would be down to doing that. Um, I think I might do a video on the game Special Forces Group 3, just because that's a really, really solid um, offline first-person shooter. It's like a really underrated game, and if you want a game where you don't have to have any internet to play, Special Forces Group 3 is a really, really good option, at least for Android. Actually, that game might be available for iOS now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, and there's a few others. Dang it, man. They're all so far. How is it that their guns have such good accuracy versus me? What do I do? Run over this way, sir. Hello? Ah, there you are. I'm dead. I'm dead. I got killed by Olivert with the Scar L Punisher Euthanasia. That guy's probably the guy that kept killing me over and over again, to be fair. Probably a much higher level player. I just think it's probably because there's not too many people playing this game and, you know... If you're going to have skill-based skill base matchmaking and not too many people playing the game in general, let's go pick it up. Ooh, then obviously, you know, you're going to have to be stuck with in matches where there's going to be better players. If there's 50 people spread out between all different ranks that are playing the game versus 5,000, obviously the people that are going to be in your lobby are going to be much more similar in skill to you 
than, um, you know, if you had the, the 50 people. It's going to be a wider range of different skills of people. Hopefully that makes sense. 23, 16. I got the Scar L Punisher. I'm going to die the second I... I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's all three of them right there, which is just not fun at all. Oh, no. They're pushing up. Hi, noob. Oh, great. Both of them again. I told you, it's kind of slow, which is why if you're in a situation like this, the time to kill, it's going to be really, really tough to, like, take on three people at one time. You're just not going to be able to do it. Also, if your enemies, for whatever reason, feel like they have way more damage than you, which... That kind of felt like that, didn't it? I don't know. Let's go push up, though. We are at 26 to 20. We probably can win this. There's a kill. There's a kill. Let's go reload. And three more kills. If I can do this without dying, then I'd be happy with myself. I just wasted a healing kit. That's not very smart. Push forward. Shoot this guy. 28. Bro, I can do this. Don't doubt me! I know how to win this game. Oh. And I did it. I told you. I freaking told you. Squad Alpha, we did well. Hopefully it's just not going to tell me how many times I died. Yeah, look at that. I got 10 kills. You just never know how many times I died. I totally didn't die at all in that match. No way. Definitely not. <laughs> um... Well, but there we go. That was War After. Um, real quick, I do want to check something. I just want to check and see if there's anything new regarding, like, this whole season. Yeah. Battle Pass. Season 3. I think this was not in the game the last time I played it. I think they've added a Battle Pass, which there's nothing wrong with that. As long as, you know, you actually have better reward. Here, let's go see the rewards. So, when you play it and you activate this Battle Pass, you can get special skins like this one right here. Different other attachments, some grenades. It's kind of weird that you would get grenades. It's not like you just automatically spawn with, a, with like two grenades every single time you die. You just have to like collect grenades over time. That's a bit weird. Um, okay, so some different rewards. You have tasks. Yeah, and then there's your leaderboard. Let's go see if there's a lot of hackers in this game. Lively Tub 26. I'm, I'm, I'm number 956. I don't know if there's that many people playing this game right now. If you take a look, I mean, 2175, then it jumps down to 1575 for the third person. And then by six, it's only 750. Not sure how many people are playing this game right now, but that's why I made this video. So more people can maybe try out this game and help revive War After a little bit. This game does have its problems, but it's still a lot of fun and still looks like one of the best graphics mobile first person shooters I have played so far. Let me know what you guys thought about this game, but I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe down below for more content just like this, and I will see you guys in the next episode.